Hi there. If you want to be successful in life, you must be have a definite goal in life. And that goal should be a burning desire blended with tremendous belief and faith that your desire, dreams, aspirations, visions and ideals and prophecies, they are going to be coming true. Because if you really dream something, maybe lofty dreams, desire something, not only just in the form of wish and hope, but a consuming obsession of your life means you say yourself, I want it and I must have it, whatever sacrifices that I have to make, but I will die, but I will never stop. I will win or I will perish because I want it, I love it. It is my passionate, ardent ambition in my life and Attaining is the supreme goal of my life. I will devote my complete life in attaining whatever I have dreamed and desired. Dear friends, if somebody has this kind of motivation, self-reliance, self-confidence, belief and faith, that person is going to reach different milestones in their life. It is not how much, but definitely it will be the quality that the person will succeed. Because these kind of inspirations and motivations, the courage and conviction and the perseverance and persistence and the patience, that will also vary from person to person. Take the example in the tennis world, men and women both. Federer was one, one a miracle man, winning, setting a record of 20. Came Nadal broke his record, make 22. Djokovic has already caught up his 22 and now I predict he is going to exceed much more. Women's tennis, Margaret Court set the record of 20, 24 Grand Slam. Steffi tried her best, made 22. Serena Williams, determined to break the record of Margaret Court and becoming all-time great, tried her best, but she becomes too old, now it is very difficult, 23 she has stopped. So you see, these are also mortals, they are also human beings. But what makes difference between one person to another is what I told you. The determination, the courage, the conviction, the belief, the faith, the willingness to die, but never to stop. Never allowing any kind of obstacles, impediments, defeats and failures and heartache and headaches to dampen the spirit of the individual. Because living is only meaningful, purposeful, once you have certain ambitions, and you have committed yourself with a full measure of devotion and passion, then only you are going to attain it. My lot of friends are there, Steve Jobs. He said, love what you do, because great things need a lot of sacrifice, a lot of hurdles, a lot of failures, a lot of defects. A lot of frustrating moment comes because you are doing your best, still you are not getting success. In this case, dear friends, your duty is only to do what best you can do, but keep on keeping on, keep on doing. There will be some clue. Take the example of addition, Thomas Alva addition. He has remarkable discovery and inventions, more than 150 in the world, and that man is enjoying and celebrating today. The light, electrical energy converted to light energy, incandescent bulb, the moving picture machine, the talking machine, the talking moving machine, all these were his great inventions and in that process he has thousands of failures. People can count one, two, three, we don't know exactly the exact number but failures were multiple. And when he was asked he said, they are not failures, they are different procedures which is not fitting to the ultimate end of the result which he was striving. Similar may be the case of yours, but if you are half-hearted, you have allowed fear and doubt come to you. You are shivering when you are going for your work. You are doomed. You are bound to be miserable. You are a cattle. You are a timid. You are a coward. You are a conformist. You will live a miserable life. There is no place for anybody who is coward, who is coward, who is useless, who is inefficient, ineffective, fearful and doubtful. That's why I tell you, my best friend of Maslow said, if you deliberately plan to be something less than what you are capable of being, I warn you that you will regret throughout your life 
because you were born with tremendous ability, capability, potentiality and possibility like any great human being. The intelligent substance in the form of your mind we are always with you, but you did not use your mind, you never thought, never planned, you never dreamed, you never desired, you never did so hard work. Little effort cannot make you great results. The highest direct results you want, the most difficult challenging task you have to perform because there is always sowing and reaping, input and output. The strongest effort can give you the biggest result. The measure of your effort is the measure of your result. So believe in my statement. What I am telling you is the truth, like Newton said, gravitation. Einstein said, theory of relativity and so great said different things. You will be what you will to be. Never mind failures. Men have conquered this space and time. They have never allowed the conditions and circumstances not favorable to them. They converted every reverse, adverse conditions and circumstances in their favor because of their willpower. They challenge the challenges. They win over the difficulties, obstacles and hurdles. That's why they are so great. Great people are valiant and fortune only favors the brave, not the timid. But it is up to you. You decide what you want in life. This is the universal truth. We are what we think. All that we are arises with our thought, with our thought we make the world. So what kind of world do you want? A glorious, a gallant, a valiant, a well-to-do, a smart, a very, very remarkable, a very illustrated personality or the reverse. It's all up to you. Thank you viewers. I love you and respect you. But I wish not be timid, be valiant and brave. Fortune only favors the brave. Love, fame and fortune will come to your doorsteps. But time is important. Time and tide wait for none. To the point, to the time, because life is not billions of years. It is just a flash. If you don't use it, you are gone forever. Thank you viewers.